Welcome back, everybody, to Let's Play Sengoku Basara Samurai Heroes. I'm your host, Alexander Frost, and this is episode 51. Last time, we completed Oichi's Red Campaign, and now we are on to the next character in this playthrough. Who is it going to be this time? Well, we're kind of running out of characters. Should only be like a good four or five left. The character we're going to be playing as today, boys and girls, is none other than... Motochika Chosokabe. Ha <laughs> ha! Onwards to victory! The dawn is upon us, men. Remember, I have no interest in your plans. You can have the whole country, except, of course, for Chugoku. Chugoku is to be mine alone. Agreed? Agreed. Take a stand! The allies of Ieyasu will know my wrath! Remember, Yoshitsugu. We have to remain focused on the task at hand. The death of Ieyasu. <laughs> Yeyasu, what the hell has gotten into you? The defeat of Lord Hideyoshi by Ieyasu Tokugawa brought about unprecedented change, leaving the country awash in conflict. Despite the uncertain times, Motochika Chosokabe, ruler of the Shikoku region, chose to remain uninvolved in the political conflicts of the country and spent his carefree days sailing the seas. However, Returning from his travels, he discovered that Shikoku had been decimated by an unknown force, leaving the region in ruins. In despair, Motochika searched the ashes of his homeland until he found the flag of Ieyasu's forces amid the rubble. Motochika could not contain his rage. Betrayed by someone he once considered a man of peace and a friend, he set out to force a confrontation with Ieyasu. What a dastardly turn of events I see played out before me, and Ieyasu's standard waving above it. Why have you betrayed my trust so, my friend? Truly, I left my future in your hands. Captain, we've got a major problem, sir. A letter just arrived from Motonari Mori. From Motonari, you say? What the deuce? Aye, sir. Here. News of the carnage in Shikoku has greatly disheartened me. Ieyasu Tokugawa was the author of the tragedy, as I'm sure you are aware. Nor did the bloodshed stop there. Our land, too, was assailed. From behind, in true coward's fashion. I see. Then he, too, was attacked. As the rightful guardian of the Seto Sea, I cannot allow the actions of Ieyasu's to go unpunished. With that in mind, 
I propose we momentarily set aside our own quarrel. Together, we may crush the villain who has so wronged us both. The likes of Motenari Mori writing to me with talk of a truce. My foe must be in dire straits indeed. He's a right slippery eel, Captain. Can he be trusted? I'm gonna say no, because this does not smack of anything Ieyasu would do. At the very least, he certainly wouldn't decimate a land without, you know, giving proper warning even if the leader was away. So today we'll be playing as Motocheka, who handles quite a bit differently. I'm going to be honest up front, folks. I have never actually played as Motochika before. I did a little practice with him, but even then it still felt unfamiliar and a little clumsy. Mainly because when I first played through this game, and I've told this story so much, my friend and I played through on split-screen uh, two-player, he got to play as Motochika and pretty much called dibs on him, so I was okay with that and I never... I just never played as him. <laughs> So, the only thing we have is the Seven Seas Anchor, of course, it's his basic weapon, and uh, last time someone, uh, in the last couple of videos, someone asked, what the hell happened to our gold turtle? What the hell happened to my gold turtle? Oh, I remember what happened was, we went to the Battle of Kawanakajima, I believe it was, against, um, and suddenly his name eludes me, the War God's Forces, as Oichi, so I could get the last few items I needed to make the gold turtle, but I don't seem to have them. That's... that's not right. Hang on, let me go to the boss at a mark. Let me take care of this and go ahead and make the turtles, if they're there. Okay, I can make them, but I didn't, for some strange reason. Alright, there you go. Now we have our gold turtle. It must have gotten lost somewhere. I might have accidentally forgotten to save or something, I don't know, but whatever, whatever. It's here now. Of course, you know me. Well, that is quite a hefty defense boost. Wow. Hmm. Uh, yeah, you know what? We'll go with that. Just just for namesake. Just, just because. So the only moves we have right now are the Chain Shot, which allows me to swipe my anchor around, pulling enemies in, and hold to add an extra attack. Or I can use Heave Ho, which whips the Chanker overhead, and then side to side. Alright. So for the first battle, where are we going to go? We could go, and we could fight Hideaki or Tenkai, but considering how underpowered he is, Tenkai is actually not a good choice right now considering how underpowered Motochika is. And I'm not too keen on fighting Tenkai. I'm not terribly keen on fighting Tsurihime at this point either. So I won't. We'll go ahead and fight, uh... Gosh, I don't know. We'll go here, but I don't know which boss I'm gonna fight. Tenkai would be more straightforward and quick, but... I did fight Hideaki in the, uh... Okay, we'll fight Hideaki. We haven't fought him in a while. Well, we won't learn anything new just staring at our navels. That was kind of an odd thing to say, but, uh... Hey, whatever. They're coming! What should we do? Run away. It's all right, Hideaki. I'm right here by your side. <laughs> so, I don't know what it is, but he always has a wind blowing. No matter which direction he faces, the wind will just shift so that it's always blowing his jacket. <laughs> Let's see, what is his taunt? This will be over before you finish your prayers. All right, he cops a squat. Get a handle on his move set here. Keep working at it. 
All right, that's his normal move with triangle. Here we go. Hmm. Here we go. Okay, that looks good. So I could probably chain together Heave Ho. Well, if I do it right, I could probably chain this together. Or maybe Heave Ho, and then... I'll figure it out. I will figure it out. There's no need to be melodramatic. Tenkai, stay close behind me! Hmm. I'm over here. You know what? <laughs> I changed my mind. I don't want to listen to Mr. Whitey what? today. Tenkai? Where it's are more you? risky, but Oh no. Yeah. I've lost sight of Hideaki. Poor, poor Hideaki. Keep thinking of that first. Here we go. That works much better. Here we go. It feels like his swinging move, the one where he just swings around with fire, should be triangle, and the heat ho one. It feels like this should be triangle, Are you looking and this now? should be forward and triangle. Do you wish to talk? Just my thoughts. must be cautious because my defensive power will be extremely low. Oh no! My armor is rusting! Oh, how I missed this scent. It brings back fond memories of the slaughter fields. There we go. I probably concentrate on breaking that. There we go. Alright, my defense is back to what little there is. Oh, weak. Maybe I should have taken the, the gold lion. I knew they'd come. Oh, this isn't good at all. Oh, you know what? I don't know what his jump attacks look like. Let us see. You may have broken the gate, but you still have a lot more to go through. Hmm. I that. Yes, sir. Nope. Just gonna keep running. War is more or less similar to a wild boar hunt. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Bomb Guys, who I thought were dead. Oh, God, stay away, stay away. Offer us your guidance. Jump. Summon your courage, men, and forward march. Oh, I guess the bomb guy destroyed that for me. Well, that was nice of him. I've got to admit, I'm terrified, yet also strangely excited. Oh, right, well, good for you. the bomb guy. That was the one guy who was worried about more than anything. I feel safer now. Wait, wasn't one of the rewards to beat Tenkai without breaking the incense jars? I want to say that's what it was, but it seems kind of risky. I tried to roll my R there and failed horribly. It seems you and I share some common interests. Yeah. 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 
There you go. I know what you've come here to ask. You want to know more about me. You want to find out who I am and what I'm looking for. I am Tenkai, the harbinger of death, and I will answer all your questions. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you understand. Killing each other is the only way we can do this. Tenka, could you show me your face? Let the blood rain down upon us! <laughs> I wouldn't mind having a side like that. Enjoy this moment right here, right now! Because it is your last! Surrender your life to me so that I may add it to the list of souls I've collected. I can't satisfy this thirst for death, this hunger for the kill. I cannot stop! Tenkai's so much stronger than me, I could never fight like him. This is terrible. What am I doing? This will be over before you finish your prayers. Give me everything you've got! Make this fight worth my while. Tinkai! This is no time to be laughing! Most adequate. I was lost until he came upon him, and now I have found salvation in his words. I will do anything in the name of John! If I had my choice, I would face the Demon King so that I could slaughter him and be a hero to this world! I saw those eyes, those piercing eyes on that night. It seems I shall be the one to go to him. No! Tenkai! No amount of atonement could rid me of this guilt. As it should be. I don't deserve it. I cannot forgive myself! So this might be something of a short video, because <laughs> the average battle length is about 20 minutes, so, uh, well, this is about a good 20 minute video, but uh, a little short in the battle, and I do apologize for that. Got a new weapon, at least, with fire, and it has extra defensive power, so I will switch back to either a gold lion or the cup of glory, depends on what the next battle is. Right, it was beat Tenkai, but don't get near death. That's what it was. Well, I learned the special art Gone Fishing, which was my friend's favorite moveset. You have no idea. He loved using that. And would just scream, Catch of the Day! Over and over and over. <laughs>
It's not a pairing I take any joy in, but at least I'll know what Motonari's up to. Any port in a storm. Perk up your ears, ye salt rim dogs! The grand finale must needs wait until another day! Save your strength! Aye, aye, Captain! Well, woo woo! So, what is the next battle we can go to? Specifically, fighting Motonari. If I remember correctly, the two rewards are beating every. Um, capturing the Sun Device, the Solar Nexus, and beating all squads, or at least getting all the. Uh, the command point area thingies, the name of which eludes me. So, if that is the case, I will take the opportunity to remove the gold turtle from this weapon. Equip the Black Wolf Anchor, which is basically the same as the anchor we use, but on fire. Oh no, it's a four-pronged anchor. Never mind. But still, pretty awesome. Gives us more defense power. And, just for the lulls, I'm going to put the Cup of Glory in. Oh, we are so close. Oh hey, you know what? We never checked to see what Oichi's uh, little thing was. Ooh. Night Whisperer. Equip all four to activate. Can recover from a KO once per stage. Interesting. I've never found myself in danger of being KO'd. So, I mean, it's never happened on camera. It very rarely happens in game unless I do something really fucking stupid. So, um, we'll leave it aside for now. You know, the Cup of Glory should help us and. Give us more of an EXP boost, so we should be much more powerful after the next battle. And the new super art we gained... Catches and traps enemies in a net. Hold the button to add attack. It is stupid. It's sort of like Oichi's ability where she reaches that hand up and grabs enemy and starts slamming them around. If the enemy is grabbable, they will get caught. And it can be used over and over and over again. But that is going to have to wait until next time. Next time we will move on and beat up on Motonari, probably join forces with him, and continue our pursuit of Ieyasu. So until next time, everyone, thanks for watching.